Okay, so let's talk about some uh, psychology again, as it's one of my favourite subjects, and as it should be one of yours also, seeing as you've been watching my videos for however long. Uh, so before I get into this um, uh, monologue, I'm going to be speaking about the seven principles of the Hermetic philosophy, which um, awakened uh, enlightened beings all uh, give the greatest of respect to. And when we are familiar with these Hermetic principles and we work with them, then we will be in a variety of confluence with the cosmos because um, they are law. Now, uh, the first um, principle of uh, the Hermetic philosophy is mentalism. And it says here that all is mind. The universe is mental. This uh, principle states that your thoughts and beliefs shape your reality. Now, whoa. Wow. For any of the viewers that don't understand that, who don't absolutely embody it and know it to be a fundamental principle of the cosmos, then you need to go away um, and uh, read a great deal uh, about this sort of stuff. Because you, you, th this is one of the reasons why you've got no idea what I'm speaking about because it's all double dutch to you. Now, because I know it's all mind, and I know everything was in, is within mind, and mind, we could say, is God, because there's creation here of whatever manifestation, be it physical or non-physical, um, bit of both or neither, um, it's all mind. That is irrefutable. Uh, we, we cannot refute that mind is here and uh, many philosophers in the past have uh, addressed this issue and um, they conclude that the, the cosmos is mind, that's all that's going on because everything else can be refuted, even physical matter people. So because I know it's all mental, then I go well it's not physical and so there is nothing really here. So there's nothing really to get our knickers in a twist with because it's all a projection of mind. And so why should we care too much about anything? And that's one of the standpoints I'm coming from. I don't care uh, for much of what's going on here. And I most certainly don't care for people's emotions. You deal with your own creations. They're your creations. You create them. Nobody else can create your emotions. Emotions. You are entirely responsible. And if something happens to you and somebody does something to you, oh, it's your fault now you've made me feel like this. No, you have made you feel like that. Because you, your mind, your thoughts has created the chemicals within your brain and body, which is having a an effect on the body and then comes back to the ego and then you feel all sorry for yourselves. Uh, I'm not responsible for your um, emotions. Um, I can play with them. I can say things uh, to see if uh, you consider that I am responsible for your emotions and some of you often do. Uh, but I'm always saying to you, you're creating your own emotions, so why, why shoot the messenger? I'm just the messenger. I'm just um, saying stuff. And if you take it on board, and if you consider that those words are causing you pain or anxi anxiety, oh dear, blame it on me. Blame it on the awakened brave. Yeah, so it's all mind, people. It's all mentalism. And so then we can start to be a bit light about things. And we don't carry the weight of, Oh, you're this and you're that and me, me, me. Oh, and you know, I feel I, I, I. And all this. You just realise, well, everything is the I. You're the I, I'm the I, it's the I. Everything's the I. 
uh, uh, the eye is consciousness, and consciousness doesn't have any emotions. Consciousness uh, doesn't have any feelings. Consciousness just is, and it's that thing that's dreaming. It's like um, suggesting that uh, your avatars in your dreams have emotions and feel pain. They don't do that. They're just figments of your imagination. So we are just figments of God's imagination. So that's why I don't care. Because it's all great, it's all God, it's all perfect. And everything else that's going on here is just fuckery. It's just fuckery, people. And so, I can fuck with you. Or you can feel like I'm fucking with you. Whatever. Correspondence. As above, so below. Um, as above, so... As below, so above. This is the second principle of, of um, hermetic philosophy. So, as above, so below, so below, as above. The principle states that there is a correspondence between the laws and phenomena of different planes of being and life. And so, well, basically, it's another way of saying that everything is one. Um, we, everything corresponds with everything. Because everything is the one thing. And there's no getting out of it. There's no getting out of the cosmos. And if the cosmos fundamentally is what we are, only we think we're little pink apes, um, then well, yeah, that's where the problems start, isn't it? But, you know, we know we're made of cosmic dust and, you know, all the rest of the, the stuff that goes on, you know, involving photons and, you know... Um, all the rest of the, the, the quantum phenomena that uh, we're trying to get our heads around. Well, it's all within uh, the, the cosmos, it's all within consciousness, it's all within mind, so it's all one. Again, it's all one, and we're just fucking around with things that don't really exist. Vibration. Nothing rests, everything moves, everything vibrates, so we're in constant state of flux all the time. Uh, the, the fourth one is polarity. Everything is dual. Everything has poles. Everything has its pair of opposites. And so, um, I'm often speaking about um, um, myself supposedly being born under the constellation of Libra. And Libra is the scales, and Libra is always looking for balance, and Libra is very aware of the polarities. And um, so I'm more speaking about the polarities, I'm more speaking about the paradox of polarities because ultimately they're all one. Again, you see all these principles, it all comes back to it's all one. Um, and so, polarity, well, what happens? Um, I go uh, uh, a little bit this way, then I come back and I go a little bit that way, and that's what I'm always doing. You know, I'm not this sort of person that's presenting one fakery image to you, like 99% of YouTubers. They're just present presenting something to you which is completely false and fictitious. Well, what you get is a semblance of um, what could be purported to be a real human being if you're buying into the dream. And so I'm playing with it. I'm conscious as I'm God. I'm the fucking universe, so I'm playing with myself. Yes. And, um, you know, because I'm playing with myself, I'm playing with you also. Um, so everything has a polar opposite. Why do we always seek out? Why do weak people seek out just one thing? Just the good. I like the good. I like the kind. I like people to be polite and nice to me. Well, that isn't the cosmos, is it? No, because on the other polarity you've got all the other stuff. So stop running away like scared little twats and just deal with it and accept it and embrace it and love it. Love it. Love evil people. Love evil. Mm. Rhythm. Everything flows. Out and in. Everything has its tides. All things rise and fall. And so again, I'm rising and I'm falling. And I'm displaying this um, persona, then I'm displaying that persona. Lots of you can't deal with the cosmos, can you? I told you I'm the cosmos. I'm always telling you I'm the fucking cosmos. When are you going to get it? When are you going to get it, people? Um, cause and effect. Every cause has its effect. Every effect has its cause. 
So, um, when I'm saying things, um, I'm affecting um, the world about me, um, as far as some people are concerned, and then um, people will think that I'm the cause of their affectation, uh, of them being affected, and so we're just passing the baton all the time. You know, you run now, and then you run a ring, then you come back and you pass it to me, and I do some running, so it's all cause and effect, people. Um, you know, it's just like bubbles in boiling water. That's what's going on. Why get rink about it? Mm. The last one, gender. Uh, another principle of hermetic philosophy. Well, it doesn't say about gender, but, but everything has its polar opposite. Um, all living things have um, a gender. Uh, some some things have both genders, but um, uh, all things have at least one. Um, you know, the cross pollination of plants and all this different sort of stuff. So when we're looking at the um, seven principles of Hermetic philosophy, um, if we embrace those, if we know them, if we live them, then we have much less the propensity of feeling like we're out of sorts because if we go this direction uh, and then we start to feel oh i don't like in this direction this direction's dark and it's mean and it makes me feel sad well y if there wasn't that feeling of sad and darkness and meanness then there wouldn't be the wonder and the beauty and the, the the lovely aspects of life would thou so stop being bitches and just embrace everything we need everything people and that's what my channel gives you it gives you everything um, whether you know it or not whether you like it or not you get everything and so there you have it with the uh, hermetic principles so let's go on to the channel now and uh, we'll start to read uh, a few of the comments now of course there's always the idiot um, that, that um, I've never seen comment before um, because they're idiots and they don't have anything to say they're too scared generally or too conceited and, and too self-serving why should I come in? why should I give anything to anybody? why should I tell this person this video was good? you know, no, just taking, taking, taking Muppets that's what the vast majority of the idiots is taking Muppets and they become so complacent in these days because it's all there for the taking so that's all anyone does they take, take, take but what am I doing? I'm giving, 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 aren't I? I'm giving all the time. I'm giving you an opportunity to grow. I'm giving you an opportunity to learn. I'm giving you so many opportunities. But what do you ever give me? Most of you give me fuck all. So, I just might get a little bit um, mean about that. Yes, I might start to have mean thoughts about taking fuckers. Yes. And um, so then I will give it to you this way and I'll give it to you that way. And what's always significant uh, is that um, uh, the idiots that come out uh, They're always the ones that I've never even seen before. Never fucking seen them coming before. But because I've rattled their cages and I've poked them with a fucking stick, then all of a sudden, you're affecting me! You're making me feel funny inside! Me, 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 me! I'm gonna throw my funny feelings inside on you, awake and brave! No, you're not. There's no shit sticks on this one. He's a light being. You don't get it, do you? When you're gonna get it? Ah, dear, dear, dear. Yeah, you see, um, look, I've got this rhetoric, and it's like, um, I'm God and you're idiots. Yeah. <laughs> it's because there's already too much of the other shit out there. There's already too much of the, hi, beautiful people, oh, wonderful people. Um, if, if, you, if you wouldn't mind, I mean, if, if you do mind, fine. But if you wouldn't mind, um, if, if you could just press that thumb up button, then that would really help me. Oh, it really helped me help you and other people. So uh, please, um, thumb up um, and, and comment because um, it, 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 
helps the algorithms. Uh, oh, begging motherfuckers, look at the weak backboneless twats. Oh my goodness. But you see, the fucking Muppet needs to be fucking begged like that before they do anything. Because they won't do it under their own um, rational application of what it is to be a good human being. If they're watching something that everybody knows these days, uh, you put the thumb up and you put a comment down because it helps the algorithm. Because then the algorithm reads that, oh, people like this video, well, we'll give it to more people then. But when people don't put a thumb up and don't put a comment down, then it, it tells the algorithm that nobody liked the fucking video, right? Um, but you see, the issue is with you people, is because if once upon a time I've upset you and it hurt you and you're scarred by that, then you don't feel like giving anything. You don't feel like paying anything forward. And, um, you know, if you feel you're slighted on a regular basis, the last thing you're going to do is sum up and help the Awakened Brain channel, even though you're addicted to it and you need your fix every fucking day or however often it is, but you always come back, don't you? And it doesn't matter what I say, I'll, I'll barely ever lose a subscriber. And even if one or two disappear now and again, they'll be fucking back again in a week or two there's no doubt about that once uh, the awakened brave has entered your psyche it will never leave and you'll always be drawn back like a criminal to the scene of a crime uh. And um, so, uh, what have I decided? You know, in the early days, I was like, hi guys, uh, you know, and, and I was kind of like much more forgiving to the nasty, horrible pink slug and all their fucked up ways. Um, and I was like, uh, oh yeah, I'll teach you meditation, I'll teach you this, and oh, I've just learned that, you might like to learn it too, and all that. And I've got no idea why I suffered the pink ape to the level I did, and why I, uh, I extended my my kindness um, out to them uh, because Lord knows I'd been through so much in my life already uh, to well determine that the pink ape was a disgusting vile fucking creature um, but I think in this past uh, 15 years um, I, I had some very very um, disappointing encounters with the pink slug and um, it's kind of like tainted uh, the way I, I look at the world and um, because of all of the cosmic downloads I've had because of my enlightenment uh, then the vast majority of people around me just appear to be so dull so stupid so riddled in their own insecurity and, uh, and self-induced pain and all the rest of it pathetic the human being is pathetic on so many levels and then when people like uh, Oh, human beings are, you know, fundamentally good and they're kind and they're nice. No, they are not. Have you ever read history? <laughs> You fucking tards, read history, read history. Just look in the fucking news, watch the news. Do you not watch the news? No, you don't, do you? Oh, goodness me, go down to your local pub. Uh, borrow, but lend the fucking tenner to a friend, see if you get it back. Ask a friend if you can borrow five, I'll see if they give it you. Oh, fucking hell, we're starting very fundamentally here, aren't we? And you'll see all different sorts of evil shit manifest. You see, people when they're weak they they like to think that everyone around them uh is great and they're they're, they're they've got no reason to be afraid of them uh, and this kind every time they see some hi hi oh good morning oh oh you're nice today uh, uh, and they go spilling all this shit because that's what they want back because they can't be real themselves they can't go and give a fuck what, what fucking morning it is go fuck yourselves you know you, you're a fucking idiot and you, you've doubtless done a bunch of disgusting vile things in your life and you've been a fucking heinous pain in the ass to most everyone that you've met um, and okay granted there are a few out there that um, self-realized souls and that they do the right thing right like people but um, I I'm speaking generally and generally the human being is a despicable creature and that's why the world is like it is. That's why Elon Musk has got his company to chip everybody's brains. And that's why the globalists are, you know, closing down the parameters of, of our movement, you know, by the week. Because they realise that we're always doing fucked up shit, evil shit all the time. And so it's kind of like, what we're going to do with these insufferable bastards? Just put them in a fucking cage, basically. That's all the human being deserves, mostly. So, uh, you, 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 
uh, some of you know where I'm coming from because you've listened to this for years and uh, those of you which are shrinking violent numpties, liberalist leftist tards, uh, you shouldn't be on this channel, it's not good for your health, uh, it really isn't. Um, but um, you know, idiots fall on the channel and um, they become hypnotised and um, then they can't leave and because they're hypnotised and they can't leave, uh, they get frustrated because they can't leave and so then they start to get angry with themselves because they can't leave and then they project their anger onto me and it's like you're just angry because you can't leave you know look at this people look at this listen to what i'm saying now very very carefully when people are like me 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 you could just leave <laughs> if, if you weren't under my hypnosis if you weren't suffering from awake and brave magnetism you could, in fact, just leave, but you can't, can you? So you see what's happening? You, you, you started to see the genius of the work and brave, how he can see into your silly little fucking insufferable souls. <laughs> <laughs> the Awake and Brave channel is like the Hotel California, people. You can check in. <laughs> you can never leave. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. <laughs> you know why? Because I'm the cosmos. Because you are within me. There's no way out. There's no way out, people. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, my goodness. I'd have a drink of water about that one. <laughs> so what can you do? <laughs> well, you continue to watch and eventually you'll all be loading. You'll all be loading lured in and you'll all be coming to you you'll be involved because in the end you'll all fucking give up because after 10 years of being glued to my channel you'll know what you've got to do and it's kind of like oh fucking hell you'll just resign yourself when you just be walking like zombies oh i can brave oh i can brave <laughs> <laughs> But the awake and brave, ah, it's just a metaphor for the cosmos, people. You're getting lured into the cosmos. You're getting lured into yourself. You're getting to know what yourself is. You are evil. You may have a little bit of good in there as well, but you are evil. It says in the Bible you're evil from the beginning. You believe it, don't you? Good. Because you are, it's true. So, um... Then we have um, people commenting, and um, I'm going to be reading a few of these comments um, um, from uh, articulate uh, viewers, viewers that, you know, have got a bit of insight and, you know, had some experience in this and the other, you know, they're not your everyday uh, automated leftist uh, numpty drone. Um, so, oh, this one, let me start here. Uh, might I just uh, speculate that you're not considering uh, the other factors of why people click on the vids? Uh, and this is the video, uh, responding to the video, potentially the most meaningful video you'll ever watch. Because if you ever got the gist of that and looked inside yourself, then you'll discover yourself, uh, maybe one day, and that will be the most important thing that ever happens to you in your life. But, but until you make that breakthrough, then, you know, you just have to keep watching the work and break. Um, now, um, if the people watching your current content had already seen the videos you uploaded of the past travels from previous channels, then perhaps they don't want to re-watch what they have already seen. Well, here's the thing, you see, if I'm putting up videos again, knowing that I have lots of um, video uh, people, viewers, that have been watching me for a long time, it might be just be because there's a message in there that you might have missed. It's like reading uh, a book for the second or third time. There is always something that we're going to get out of it. We'll always be moved. We'll, we'll, we'll always have an experience that we never had the, the first uh, time when we read the book. And uh, so watching videos, when I put them up again, uh, which have been carefully selected uh, for a particular reason, to elicit a response from you. And so uh, uh, for the 
those of you that are a little bit smart, now this guy's a little bit smart, and so he watches the videos because he wants to see um, what I was saying then in comparison, what I'm saying now, has there been any difference, and uh, you know, is the delivery the same, if the delivery is the same, how can that be so, and all different sorts of things, because he's a thinking person. Yes, and so uh, to watch the videos again um, might be useful. Uh, because you see, if we watch a video and if we read a book, uh, we, we, we'll very easily be under the assumption that we know something. We go, oh, I know that now. But if you listen to the video again, you discover, if you listen intently, that, ah, I, I, I missed that. I didn't put that together. Ah, oh, I didn't see that first time round. Ah, oh, that's what that bit meant. Yeah. You, so, you see, this is what has to happen, people. Uh, because if you just float around watching this and uh, one time, one time, one time, one time, one time, then you'll never get anything really you really won't you see the only time we really get anything is when we keep uh, visiting similar sort of things that tell us a similar sort of thing um, because then we get it reiterated 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 because that's what human consciousness needs it needs the repetition of information and this is why the propagandists they give us this all the time like George Bush terror 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 have you ever seen any of these clips with George Bush uh, People have counted the amount of times he said terror, you know, during the 9-11 thing and everything like that. It's something like five billion. Um, and uh, why? Oh, just to indoctrinate the masses. Um, because, you know, if people just think, oh, 9-11, oh, that's over there in America, nothing to do with me. No, they wanted the whole world to be terrified. It could be come to you, you know. It could be your house. It could be next door to your house. Terror, 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 terror. Yeah, that's what they do, people. And so, um, if we're going to learn stuff, then, uh, unless we're really, really bright, then we need to have a certain reiteration of this knowledge. And so, you know, um, my videos are very often repetitive, because the message basically is the same, wake up, idiots. Uh, but whenever we listen to anybody on the internet, when they've got anything to say, all their videos um, are... are, are, are almost exactly the same, only the words have been jumbled up a little bit and, and delivered in a little bit of a different way. But even lots of people, they deliver the same stuff word for word, verbatim. Uh, and they don't even bother to mix it up. They'll go on the different chat shows and they'll just say the same old thing all the time. Uh, but, you know, it's kind of like they've got no comprehension that um, people who uh, are watching their videos might want to see them say it in a different way uh, to give a different perspective. But because saying it in the same way might not um, work for lots of people. So I say um, much of my stuff in different ways, don't I? I always give you different metaphors all the time. Uh, so that's the genius of the work and brave. Um, so, um, yeah, okay, so people might uh, not want to click on the videos because they've seen them. And this dude, you know, uh, my caravan was robbed. Uh, that's his handle on this particular channel. Uh, he says, oh, you might have overlooked that. Well, I did say in the video, I've got no fucking idea of, of what, you know, potentially 8.5 billion people think, have I? And even with 300 uh, hits on my videos uh, how could I even begin to to know what you think and so then some of you with your silliness you go oh you're just projecting this or you're just assuming that or, or, or you're just um, uh, using sweeping statements and this of course I am what can I do address your individual numptiness every single one of you well you best come for therapy then then I can do that and I can tell you where you're all going wrong yeah. But you see, you know, look, come on. Look, when, when, when somebody says something which is good and poignant, I'm going to be clapping like a fucking seal. But until then, I'm just going to have to just point out where you're wrong. Where you might need to think a little bit more. Yeah. Also, can you please get over the moaning about view counts and likes, etc.? It's very unbecoming, and who cares if there's one view? Uh, be your own witness. Okay, yeah, I mean, validity, there's certain validity there. Who cares? But... <clears throat> 
if you want to engage in being a human being, then you have to pretend as if you care. Now, personally, I don't fucking care. I don't fucking care about humanity. I don't care uh, whether there's a nuclear holocaust or a fucking meteorite or anything. I really don't care. Why? Because I know that I am the cosmos. And I will be doing it to myself just for the fucking crack. Right? That's why I don't care. Nothing to be, nothing to care about. It just isness. Just isness going on, people. It's only the silly little pink ape uh, fiction of an operating system uh, called the ego which cares about any fucking thing. So, you get over that. Well, there's nothing to get over. I'm only playing. I've told you a billion times I'm only fucking playing. I, 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 I don't even want to fucking be it, per se. This, 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 this uh, planet Earth is full of fucking idiots. Um, I would much rather be here without the silly idiots. I would. I would much rather be here with fucking Neanderthal man because I'm pretty sure that they enjoyed themselves a whole fucking lot more. The pink ape is dull, it's troubled, it's traumatised, it, it's riddled with anxiety. It's a fucking failed species. And considering how the Bible said it 2,000 years ago, they even knew it then. Now, I don't believe a single fucking word of the reality of the Bible, but the human beings that wrote the Bible knew that the human beings were a failed, fucked up species from the get-go. And uh, they knew that they had to bring in some sort of measure of control and manipulation over them. Because left of their own devices, they would all eat their own fucking hands. They would. Ah... Uh... Some people may think that I've got a very dismal uh, view of humanity. I I've had 61 years of it uh, and a billion life experiences. Trust me, people, I know what I'm fucking talking about. Uh, and then this guy goes on to say, These videos will be around uh, far longer after you or I or anyone reading this today will be. And the future generations watching might stack up the views to a gazillion. Um, yeah, you know, the thing is, um, the, the channels, it, it appears that they don't ever get taken down. Um, and even if the, the person that created the, the, the channel hasn't put up any new videos, um, you know, like when people die, well, the, the Google algorithms won't go, well, this person's died now, it's not going to be put up anymore. No, it's just gone out into... Um, Google, isn't it? It's in Google. It will never ever leave Google because Google's just going to be getting bigger and bigger and bigger and fatter and fatter. Ooh, bursting with information. So, yeah, the, you know, people will probably be watching my videos in 500 years' time and uh, they'll be going, This guy, he was genius. <laughs> But these fucking idiots couldn't see it. Yeah, that's what they're going to say. And so when I come back, um, you know, a self-realised cosmic uh, fucking genius, um, I'll look at my channel and go, Hey, that fucking guy is fucking he knew what he was about. Look at all those fucking muppies. I didn't know any fucking thing. But maybe in, you know, 10,000 years' time, people will get it and they'll go, oh, look, oh, God, everybody knows that. These people in the past, they've taught so much shit. Everybody knows we're all light beings and we're all in the fucking dream. <laughs> I look forward to getting there, I do. Um, okay, so, you know, you know it's nice for someone to be thinking about things like this. Um, so, well done. Oh... Uh, so, uh, yeah, or perhaps even today in some far-flung alien planet somewhere in the cosmos, you're the one trending intergalactic vlogger, yes. Uh, don't make the videos with the expressed intention of garnering these fake meaningless numbers. Uh, you can go on a shady website and buy 10,000 views, but what's changed? The ego had a better rub, maybe. Um, Vincent van Gogh sold one painting in his life, and today a good portion of the entire modern population holds his work to be of great acclaim. And, you know, if anybody looks at Vincent van Gogh's paintings, they really are like a fucking child painted them. They're fucking rubbish. They really are fucking rubbish. And um, you know the one of the chair? He can't even get the fourth leg in perspective. It's, it's out of fucking sync with the others. It's crap. 
um, but because he was a, a, a frustrated fucking faggot um, that cut off his ear because he couldn't get his fucking knob up by his favourite gay dude, then, you know, uh, people, millionaires, millionaires who bought these paintings for, for fucking thruppence, um, you know, sing stories about, oh, the genius of Van Gogh, and all the fucking idiots believe it. And then the idiots, with any money, uh, the, the money from fucking the vocal cords or whatever, then they'll be pa paying millions uh, for these paintings, and the people that bought them for fucking thruppence will go, <laughs> one by one every fucking minute. I'm born every fucking minute, people. So, um... Uh, actually, come to think of it, um, I suppose there uh, is the monetization, uh, monetization factor um, kind of nullifying what I've just typed in the above paragraph. Um, he, he, he says, all right, well, uh, rebrand as um, Billy McWilly, uh, sentient being, and use the, the profile picture, blah, 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 blah. Basically here, uh, he's saying that, um, uh, yeah, you know, um, if you care about the channel and you want to build it, uh, then there might be a purpose to it as far as monetization goes eventually, because you can set on your laurels even more than you do now piling in the money well my channel can't be monetized because i'm a naughty boy yes google thinks i'm a naughty boy because google knows i'm a self-realized fucking cosmic conscious genius and so um google doesn't like competition and so google then puts the breakers on my genius input and um so there you have it and that's um very indicative of the good and the evil you see i'm good i'm cosmic light and google is evil we all know that, don't we? I think we do. I think we do. Mm. I think a few of us do. Yeah, 1%. 1% know that. 1% know how we're being manipulated. Well, how they're trying to manipulate us and trying to control us and governors and molders and all that. 1% of us know that. Um, the rest of them don't. Uh, now then, this is a um, playlist account. Playlist account says this. There was a certain humility to your older videos that no longer seems to exist. Maybe that's why they are better received. Uh, you project illogical and flawed presumptions a lot nowadays. So maybe that's why they were better received. Uh, these days you stating that I project uh, flawed and presumptuous. Uh, um, opinions. Well, like the last um, character, my, my caravan was robbed, stated um, uh, I may use um, sweeping comments. What else can I do? You see, I can say a billion things, and a billion things will be right for a billion people. But um, if I say one thing to a billion people, then how many people are going to feel is that useful information? And so this is where you're flawed uh, in, in your assessment what else can I do of course I sit here and I talk fucking shit I just throw shit out to see who bites and you know who takes the bait and who's got anything to say on this and who's got anything to say on that why do I say things like this because I don't care because it doesn't matter nothing matters nothing that we think or do matters uh, in the bigger picture because it's all just a dream uh, in cosmic consciousness consciousness at the end of the day and human beings are ten a fucking penny there's been gazillions and gazillions and gazillions of the foot warts and there'll be gazillions more what have they ever amounted to what what, what who why fucking nothing i don't give a fuck uh, it, it's just preposterous so why should i present myself like i do i'm just fucking around here people uh, because I, I've got an earth excursion, I've got um, time to pass, and then it just appears that um, I don't know, higher consciousness is moving me in this trajectory to do and say the things I do, because there's no fucking free will. And, you know, you'll be moved the, in the same. You know, some of you shelf packers, chicken packers, you know, who knows why you're moved to do that? 
Well, probably because I like fucking my shelves stacked and packed full of goodies for me. And I like my chickens packed. That's why. I think you're still uh, in defrag mode and this sometimes acts as a sort of sociopathic uh, simulation of you being yourself and how that is received in an unconscious way so that you can try get a better handle on yourself. I know what I am. I told you, I'm always telling you I'm the cosmos and uh, the cosmos pertains to everything so um, what is the really to get a handle of? I know what I'm doing here, I know I'm fucking around and I know that nothing matters and so as soon as you get inside your mind so what I'm doing I don't consider matters in the slightest um, and I'm always telling you I'm doing this fucking job because fucking uh, the man in the sky has told me to. Uh, that's the only reason I'm doing it, otherwise I'm pretty sure I, I, I'd busy myself doing other fucking things. Um, but, you know, as to why my higher self is, is launched on this trajectory, doubtless there's some truth in there from an egoic, a soul perspective. Because, uh, you know, we, we, if we are soul seeking, then we want to put ourselves in different scenarios to see what it feels like. And then we want to see what um, other people uh, react like, don't we? And then we can look introspectively and we can say to ourselves, when I went in that pub last night and I called everyone a twat, well, four people tried to thump me, and um, seven people cheered, and, and uh, now, you know, I've got one black eye, and, um, you know, I made uh, three friends who think like, yeah, what you said was great, mate. You see, and so we, we look at what we do, don't we, and, and we feel the effects of it, the ramifications, and, you know, we, we do stuff for a reaction. I mean, real human beings do. Most human beings are scared of the reaction, because they're scared of the unknown, and so so they won't ever try anything different. They'll barely ever try any different food. Oh, I, I don't know. Or oh, my stomach this, or my stomach that. Or they won't go on a holiday uh, to a place where their culture is different. Oh, uh, did they have burgers there? Did they have McDonald's? Oh, I, I don't think I can go there. And this is why all over Europe you've got these uh, fucking ridiculous restaurants which only sell fried chicken and fucking chips and omelette to the fucking idiots. Um, they don't sell, uh, invariably, their indigenous foods. You have to go fucking looking in the back streets, right up a fucking mountain to get, you know, traditional food. Uh, because they know what the fucking idiots want, you see. Ah, uh, yeah, so uh, to get a handle on myself, well, I mean, uh, I'm sure that's what we all should be doing, shouldn't we? And so you're kind of inferring, you know, that... Um, you know, I'm using this channel to get a handle on myself. Well, yeah, I, I use life to get a handle on myself, people. Everything I do when I go to the gym, I'm making observations of people. I'm saying things to people to get a reaction because that's what I do. I'm a, I'm a reactionary uh, because I've, I'm, on, I'm on a reconnaissance mission here, people. I'm gathering information. Um... So, in global scale, it wouldn't even equate to a speck of dust. So that's why I think it fundamentally fails. But making discursories, uh, videos, isn't a replacement for actual living. Uh, I've lived, people, I've lived more than a thousand men. Um, some of you will know just a little tiny bit of what I've done. Uh, been around the fucking globe a billion times. And, um, you know, now I'm just doing this. Um, I'm, I'm sitting in the comfort of my um, self-created heaven. And I'm living this life, people. Even if you, it does provide a cosy veneer. So let's have a look again what that says. In global, in global scale... Uh, it wouldn't equate uh, to a speck of dust, so that's why I think it fundamentally fails. But making discursories videos isn't a replacement for actual living, even if it does provide a cosy veneer. Well, I'll just answer that, haven't I? I just wonder how long can it be held upright if the task 
difficult to do sometimes? Uh, is the task difficult to do sometimes? I mean, what task? What are you asking? Is the task difficult for me to be me? No, I, I do it, it's like water flips back. It's so easy, it's so smooth, it's so blissful, it's so amazing, it's so incredible. Um, when you are an enlightened uh, child of God consciousness, then how could it be anything else? Uh, sometimes it comes across that way. Um, well, we've all got our perceptions, haven't we? Uh, it's like you often talk about how one would want to acquire your mind. Uh, but sometimes I get the feeling it wouldn't be as heavenly as you make out. Uh, to put it frankly, some of the times it looks damn right hellish, despite your attempt to fight it. Let it be bro-dog. Well, what I'm saying is about my mind. The mind I'm speaking to you about, which is a blissful state, is the mind which is uh, behind all of this stuff. Uh, because this stuff is just, you know, just a little titchy little bit here in the floating around the ego, and it's being prompted um, um, by uh, cosmic consciousness, by higher self. And um, when I finish these videos, then my mind is absolutely still and pure, and I go, uh, okay. Um, shall I sing? Shall I play the guitar? Uh, shall I go for a walk? Shall I do some fungi foraging? Shall I go to the gym? Um, shall I make some talking videos? I've got all these different things to do. Uh, oh, it's a beautiful day. I'll go cycling. Uh, and then I'm in a different realm. You don't see that realm, people. You only see this, you see. And so therefore, you might want to open your minds a little bit more and uh, have a little bit of consideration for the things that I say that I do in the other facets of my life when I'm not fucking making videos. Uh, it's like you'll often talk about how one would want to acquire your mind, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, if you think it's a terrible place, um, then that's a projection of yours. Um, because it, it doesn't appear to be conducive to how you think about the world. But I'm perfectly fine with it because it's me. Uh, the old Aaron always caught up to himself when he let himself slip. Uh, let myself slip um, according to who? That's the thing, isn't it? When I let myself slip, according to who? Now, there's been times in the past when um, I've, you know, made these rants, and I've said, um, yeah, maybe that wasn't the right thing to do. Uh, you know, feeling a little bit, you know, compassionate towards uh, people's frail souls, but that really isn't me. And it's kind of like, mm, nah, I don't like that. Me. Um, th that's bullshit. There's too many idiots doing that out there. They're all doing it out there, aren't they? Don't you relish somebody that's not doing it? I know some of you do. I mean, uh, lots of you say, oh, I'm, I'm so happy I came upon your no bullshit channel. You just tell it like it fucking is to the idiots and they just have to fucking deal with it or not. Yeah, that's it. That's what I'm doing, people. And I'm assuming because most of you stick around and that's what you like. I don't know that you do like it because when I do have these rants, you fucking love it. Um, and so what, what's wrong about that? Where am I, where, where am I erroring? Because when I make these rants and I get more engagement and I get more people like you writing lengthy fucking stuff, you know, engaging and trying to work out and offer me some advice and this, that and the other, and this is what I've been asking you to do all along, and so it, it appears to me that to get you to do this, you need that thing which you're suggesting isn't a good thing for me or you. But that's the portal, it's the catalyst that enables this to happen, that enables this to manifest, to enables us to enter into a dialogue. Because if I'm just making videos about spirit and this and the other, and you guys, yeah, I know this, I know that, and I know something else, well, who's gained from that? Nobody's gained from that. And if every one of my viewers get everything I say, then there's no fucking point in anyone watching my videos, is there? So that's obviously not what it's about. It's obviously about the 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 um, friction. It's obviously about uh, me uploading stuff that you don't get. And because you don't get it, and you don't appreciate that I'm trying to make you get it, uh, then you don't ever say thanks. 
I like that video. You can't do that. And that's always my bone of contention. And some of you will say, oh, just because you put a monkey video up and we don't all flock on the monkey video and come down the monkey. No, it's not because of that, you fucking idiots. It's because I've been doing this for fucking years. And what I've been saying has been falling on deaf fucking ears and fucking retards and self fucking self-serving motherfuckers you know that's it and then one person says oh this is youtube get used to it no i won't get used to it i won't get used to it i don't want to get used to it when i see it i'm calling a cunt a cunt and so anyone that any of you that watch my videos consistently you get tired of me calling you cunt then the, the only way to change that that fucking trend people is for you cunts to start not being cunts isn't it? Because this channel demands your interaction. It really does. <clears throat> Many other channels don't demand your interaction. They'll go, oh, comment down below, or like and subscribe, or this, that, and the other. That's as far as they'll go. They don't go to the lengths that I'm going. The reason why I'm going to the lengths, because this is a small platform. And this is a very esoteric platform. And so, the, 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 hopefully there's no shrinking violet Christian fucking knobheads on this channel. And when I can speak frank, I'm speaking to men. I'm speaking to real men. I'm speaking to awoken people, enlightened people, hopefully. And so anybody else that isn't, ah, what is it to me? Nothing. What is it to me? Nothing. What can they say to me? Nothing. But I've got a job to do. Oh, give them this and give them that. Keep throwing the pearls to swine. Even though Jesus tells me, he's always whispering in my ear, don't be throwing the pearls to swine because they're fucking idiots. And I'm like, yeah, I know, but I've got a soft spot for them. Um, I really do have. I would like them to be awoken. You know, I, I don't really want to enslave them all and have them crushing rocks uh, for my sandpit, even though sometimes I say it. But then again, Oh, I like the idea of sending them all to war and getting their heads blown off. <laughs> and then coming back as blubbering idiots. <laughs> you know, when, when these idiots uh, uh, have gone to fight wars that have got fuck all to do with them, they've gone to poke their nose in other people's business and they deserve to get their fucking arms and legs blown off and then come back feeling sorry for themselves. Well, the government says, uh, we don't feel sorry for you because you're idiots. You should have realised you idiots before you went, but you didn't, did you? You bought into all this propaganda or speedboats with soldiers in, ooh, flying up the fucking beaches and jumping out like heroes and jumping out of the sky on parachutes. You bought into all that. You thought that looks like a good job. It's not a good job. Because when you get to these places, some cunt's going to try and blow your fucking head off. What part of that didn't you get from the promotional fucking uh, adverts that you saw on the telly? So you deserve everything you get. You deserve your legs to be blown off in this time around. Next time you'll come back, you'll be someone like me. And you go, oh, I'm going to fucking get my fucking legs blown off. Some fucking greedy corporate motherfucking wankers talking to me about bullshit. You see the difference, people? Look at the vast difference in consciousness. It's vast. It's vast. The old Aaron was caught up. Uh, would catch up with himself. Ah, oh, the old Aaron was much more forgiving for the idiot. He's not anymore. He's not anymore. He doesn't give a fuck about the idiot. In actual fact, he detests the idiot. And basically, he probably just wants to punish the idiot at heart. Um, there's, there's, there's probably a, a little bit of a vindictive streak in him that just wants to, to tell them what idiots they are. Um, because what else can you do? I mean, you can't wake them, you can't shake them, you can't import, impart any information to them. So what do you do? Well, you just get them breaking rocks, don't you? And that's what the masses have, have, have already worked out. You know, they've tried for years and years and years, and they've made books like the Bible and the Quran, and, you know, they've invented people like the fucking Buddha and all the rest of it, but nothing's worked. And so, well, what does work? Well, fucking stick a stupid phone in front of their fucking faces, at a later stage, st 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 stage st stick a fucking chip in their stupid Kantian brains and just get them fucking breaking rocks and doing all the things that we want them to do. Like build our super fucking um, posh uh, private jets and all the rest of it. Yeah, that's what they're doing to you. And you deserve nothing more. Because you're not great. Oh, I'm a child of God consciousness. If you were, you'd be self-realised. Like me, none of that shit would be affecting you. Would it? 
But as it is, you're getting up every fucking morning going scratching the living for the fucking man. For that man. And then you want me to give you respect. Can't do it, people. Can't do it. Can't do it. The cosmos can't do it. You hear me? Man. And it's getting kind of long in the current season of your videos like a long black mirror episode but you can get out of the funk i think uh, i just don't think you will ever be in a position to understand the sacrifices you would need to make and how in a way it actually has you in shackles now so you're assuming that uh, my attitude uh, is a result of uh, some evil shackles uh, that i could be a much more of a self-realized person if i was kind to the idiot uh, and if i wanted the idiot to, to lie like me but uh, in view of the fact that I don't give a flying fuck whether anybody likes me or not because I'm absolutely comfortable and confident and and fucking cosmic in my own being as a self-realized uh, fucking enlightened being then why would I need anybody else why would I feel that it would be better to me to do uh, things you know some people could say look if you were a real enlightened um, you know being uh, uh, Aaron, then you, you would want to be kind to other people. You would want to use your wisdom and everything to help other people, to raise everybody else up. To, to what avail? To what avail? So other people will become enlightened. Then what? They'll realise what a bunch of cunts are all around them. Isn't it? Picture this, people. You know yourself, some of you that are awoken. When you woke up, you looked around at your family and you went... My family's fucking idiots. All my friends are fucking idiots. All my business associates are fucking idiots. What's going on? And so, was there any real benefit of waking up as far as the idiot in the streets concerned? There's only a benefit when you detach yourself like the Buddhists do, like the monks do, like the nuns do, or, or, or you know, um, monks, nuns, all, the, all these people, they just get the fuck away from the herd, don't they? Because they found a, the, an avenue of peace, they think they know what, what their connection to the cosmos is, you know, whether it's Jesus, whether it's Allah, whether it's Buddha, who the fuck it is, Krishna, um, you, you know, the, we've all got our fantasies and ideas of who it is through our indoctrination. But at the end of the day, if you get rid of all that fucking shit, because it all derives out of one fucking thing, it all derives out of one mythological idea, which when you look into mythology, you'll see it's, it's very, very very pervasive all over the world it's a very very similar thing that ultimately something's conscious and then it's light and then you know uh, the light creates darkness and the darkness is matter and matters human beings and all this that's what it all boils down to fundamentally so it's all just fucking crazy batshit fucking stuff that the human mind thinks of uh, to give us some sort of handle on the cosmos that we've got no fucking idea of what it is no idea of what we are but when you do become enlightened and you know that you're not the body and you know that nothing is physical and you know that you don't die because consciousness can't die because it, it's not living it's just a thing it's a, it's a isness and this so-called living thing isn't a so-called living thing it's a simulation or it's a projection in the mind of God. You see, when you know all these things, then all the rest of this claptrap just pales into insignificance. And so why would anybody, um, you know, feel, you know, any compassion about anything? Uh, there's nothing to be compassionate about. And when I had uh, one of my major breakthroughs on DMT, and DMT told me that the whole world is absolutely perfect. And I pondered that for some time. And I'm thinking, why is the world, uh, why did I, was I told by the genius of DMT um, that this world is perfect uh, when you know you look around and it evidently isn't well it evidently isn't from an egoic perspective and when you know that the ego is just a fake operating system which which creates the illusion uh, so uh, consciousness can have a human experience then you go oh so it's all a dream it's not real yes that's what you get told in the depths of of your meditation that's what you get told in the heights of any um, uh, entheogenics 
psychedelic experience. That's what you get told in a mystical experience or a religious experience. You get told that that fundamentally everything is spirit and none of this stuff is a reality. It's just a fiction. Uh, it's just a play, people. We're here in a fucking play. So when you are enlightened, then that's what you see and know. And so all the rest of it is bullshit. And so people are suffering and people getting their heads blown off and uh, babies starving and all the rest of it. Oh, it's so terrible uh, to the fiction of the ego, but the ego is a fiction. The human being is a fiction. As quantum physicists, they'll tell you that there's no physical matter here at all. So why are you getting all rink about non-physical matter? It's like getting all rink about your dreams. Sometimes you wake up, oh, 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 thank God that wasn't real. This isn't real either. And one day you're going to wake up. So, but when you have already woken up, well, you're already awoke, aren't you? You already see it. That's why I'm like I am, people. <sighs> you seem to equate YouTube or intelligence to real life. There is no real life. YouTube is just a fiction the same as real life. Playlist. I would advise getting... I wouldn't advise getting lost down that myopic road. Uh, you talk about worldwide experience and having any, uh, maybe you should say many, uh, maybe that's true. Uh, maybe you just lack an emotional touch, so everything is sort of grey. Yeah, you're starting to get it now. Emotions are fiction, people. They're created by chemicals in your body uh, to uh, give you the fiction of a egoic reality, of a fiction to a, a human experience. If, if you look into any of these things, and then, then you know, how many scientists will tell you that the human experience is just chemicals in your fucking brain. That's all it is. And the other scientists will tell you that when they cut the top of your cranium off and they start poking around in your grey matter, um, then they can work out what you're going to be thinking and doing before you, consciousness, even know. And so therefore we're just completely automated, automated by the simulation or the fucking dream or something. This isn't real on so many levels. It just isn't real. There's nothing outside of the, 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 the silly naivety of any given ego which would ever consider this realm to be real. It's completely a fiction, people. I wouldn't advise getting lost down that myopic road. Well, you know, like Nietzsche says, when you stare into the abyss, the abyss will stare back at you. Because that's all there is, people. And if you can stand the abyss, then why not? I can stand the abyss. And some of you will remember my videos when I'm really in the abyss. And I'm going, wow, this is just a fucking dream. This is just the abyss. And, you know, there's, there's not a single semblance of it, which is a reality. Uh, but then I come out of that, you see. And I go, but it's a beautiful beautiful dream. It's a beautiful fiction. It's whatever we want it to be because we are God and so I'm acting in the way which I want it to be because I have a belligerent spirit and the belligerent spirit is much more interesting than the loving spirit. I care for everybody. I love everybody. Oh beautiful people. Oh uh, kindness, kindness, niceness. Oh I hope I'm helping you and then people go oh you're helping me. What difference does that make to me if I'm helping people that don't exist? It makes no more difference than your account. It doesn't make any difference. It's just two wings of the same fucking bird of non-existence, people. You see, that's how it is. And, you know, many of you still will never will grasp what I'm saying. But, you know, if you read very, very intelligent people, then you start to grasp it. You're too immersed in this bullshit. The fiction of it. Look around. Look at the media. Look what everyone's doing. They're all in the frenzy of the fiction, aren't they? You know, do you think the fucking headhunters of Timbuktu fucking do? No, not Timbuktu, Papua New Guinea. Do you think the headhunters in Papua New Guinea give a flying fuck about Trump's inauguration? And how Trump is going to do this and Trump is going to do that and Trump is going to save our souls? Oh my goodness, pathetic. You just toss away the stupid ego and you realise that your soul can't be fucking saved. There's nothing to save, people. It's just a fucking dream going on here.
And then we invent things like the ego and then the soul and then the spirit and this, that and the other. Good God, people. Maybe you just lack an emotional touch. I don't buy into emotions. I don't get involved with them. They're fickle and full of shit. What do they do? They lead you around like you're a fucking retard. Emotions do. Oh, I feel this emotion. I feel that emotion. Oh, I feel this emotion. Oh, I'm so tearful. And oh, I feel so terrible now inside. Oh, this suffering. Oh, what are you doing to yourself? Why would you want to do that? Why would anybody want to do that? Why would a light being want to do that? No, we come down there and we go, all oh, this shit's happening. And uh, you can get involved in that. You can be Mother Teresa. Or you, you can do whatever you fucking know you want. You decide. I've decided not to. I go, thanks. You keep your emotions. I'm not interested in your stupid, fickle emotions. Like, your stupid, fickle fucking word and concept of love. It means nothing to me. It means nothing. All I can see is about your silly love. It's just a projection of your insecurities and your fantasies and your demands and how you want life to be. That's a real thing. That's not a real thing, people. Um, uh, I hope this makes sense, I guess, uh, in presuming uh, it will, since it's about you. Uh, but sometimes it's hard to know why and how exactly you fight it. Well, I'm not fighting anything, and it's as much about me as it is you, because we're all one, and so you're seeing you from your perspective, I'm seeing me from my perspective, um, and I, writing my book, you know, one of the, the best books that's ever been written on the planet, by the way, um, because there's just so much fucking brilliant stuff in there for those who have ears to hear it. But I say, well, look, there's nothing going on in this dimension. Um, uh, which is outside of, let's say, you standing in a hall of mirrors. Only this hall of mirrors is a 360 degree globe of mirrors all around you. And every single place you look, you are seeing a reflection of yourself. That's what's going on here, people. So why would I be emotional? Why would I be upset? Why would I be afraid? Why would I give a fuck? When you know that. <sighs> Some of the comments are interesting. You either have sycophants like Go Aaron or those with degrees of intelligence calling stuff out and you reacting emotionally or resorting to straw man generalizations. No, what I do, I offer a mirror. I just offer a mirror. If someone said to me, ee, 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 then I go, well, that, that's the only mentality they know. There's no point in me trying to express to them in a beautiful, sympathetic and diplomatic and um, higher conscious way because these are drones. They have to be drones, otherwise they wouldn't be doing that and they wouldn't be feeling emotional about it. So what do I do? I approach them on the same energy and the same level of intelligence that they are approaching me so you see the genius oh my god one day some one day someone's going to discover you know the, the incredible insight that the awakened bros got, got going on here there is no fucking point in me saying anything else because i already said it in a video and they don't get it because they're all angry and fucked up and so well why would i want to try and waste my fucking energy by explaining to them again and thinking all oh, these people you know they're all they're all have got consciousness and they're all lovely souls does that no they're fucking imbeciles they're imbeciles and they are an imbecilic facet of god consciousness and so it has to be so otherwise they can't be genius there's got to be imbeciles otherwise they can't be geniuses so i thank all the imbeciles otherwise i wouldn't exist would i you see that logic the polarity you know it's the fucking principles of of, of hermeticism there's got to be idiots if there wasn't idiots then there'd be no geniuses um, some of the comments are interesting. Well, you know, look, it's all perspective, isn't it? You think some of the comments are interesting and you think that um, uh, either they are sycophants um, or, you know, uh, they are degrees of intelligence. Well, of course, there's degrees of intelligence across everything. And, um, you know, people often level at uh, my supporters as sycophants. Uh, when I, I wouldn't consider that any of them are sycophants. Um, they just know what's going on. They know where I'm coming 
coming from and they don't listen to all the bullshit that I'm talking about because they know it's not directed at them and they come back to me and go <laughs> yeah fucking love it Aaron oh by the way this that and the other blah 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 blah, blah. and it's, it's on a different level you see uh, some people just on a different level they're outside of this silliness that's going on but if, if the only reaction or action that I get um, is um, pretty boring and, and nondescript then I'm going to throw a spanner in the works people that's what I'm going to do and so whatever you think or, oh I'm this and I'm that I'm just throwing a fucking spanner in the works because I, you know when I was a kid I used to walk around the forest and everywhere and I used to poke a stick uh, in, in wasps nests and in beehives and uh, if there's a fucking hole in a tree then I'd stick a fucking uh, stick up there and I'd rattle it around see if there's any bats or bees or what the fuck I'd be lifting up stones and I'm doing all this and I'd be just doing things for a reaction people because I want to learn about the world and so what I'm doing is I'm just doing things that brings out another reaction to you because most of the people that feel like they're up Set, I have never heard of before on this channel and then I say to them I say aha so here is what I've been speaking about at ground zero I've been saying you um, might want to consider just getting engaged just a little bit even if it's only that uh, because it helps the algorithms and mother idiots more idiots might be able to see the videos but you can't even do that because you're so self-serving self-centered it doesn't even cross your fucking mind so I can well, in that case then, I'll give you something that does cross your fucking minds. Your stupidity, you fucking tards. And then all of a sudden, oh, I've got you, haven't you? I'm like this, the fucking rod's bending. I'm like this, you fucking idiots. And then I just say in the comments, I just give them back the only things that they can comprehend. You can't comprehend anything that's higher outside of your level of consciousness. And I'm all speaking about how consciousness is, is concentrated circles circles within circles within circles within circles like when you throw a pebble in a pond now, most of the viewers who don't say anything, can't get involved, probably, are in the first circle. They are, they are new souls. They, they are very, very limited in their uh, consciousness. But the people in the outer concentric circles, these people know all the information in between because they've travelled that trajectory, you see. The ripples and the waves of consciousness have travelled out and they can see every single bit of other people's consciousness within those. But a person in this particular ring cannot see outside in that ring because they haven't been there you see this is my genius this is what I um, try to use as an illustration so people can uh, work things out that's how it is and I ask you what concentric circle are you in do you know are you in a one below your boss or higher than your mother or um, are you higher out, out further outside than your friends and your partner or do you feel that your partner is more uh, conscious than you and they say things that you don't understand so therefore you must be inside have you worked that one out yet have you judged yourself have you gauged yourself do you know where you are are you endeavoring to get outside into another higher realm of consciousness when you listen to people like me, you might get to saying, this guy, he sounds like he knows a lot of stuff because a lot of the things he says, I haven't got a fucking clue. I think it's madness. No, it's not madness. It's just that I am fucking far out there, people, in these concentric circles looking in. That's what's going on. Maybe the emotional intelligence can't be brought up. You need to do a deep dive in the study of logic. Really? After all this time, I need to do a deep dive in the study of logic. Okay. What about like two or three hundred um, entheogenic experiences? Do I need to do more of that? What about having, you know, half a dozen very powerful spiritual experiences? What about having a handful of near-death experiences? What about all these things? What about global travel? What about travelling around the fucking world umpteen times? I think, people, to be quite honest, your projection is coming from your lack of travelling, your lack of spiritual experience, your lack of psycho uh, um, uh, psychedelics or entheogens, your lack, which you're projecting onto me, which you're trying to work out, with information that can't compute what's going on here you know I appreciate you guys uh, putting your bit in uh, you've put your bit in now I'm putting my bit in 
which bit would have more power in a group of uh, uh, of uh, psychoanalysts or philosophers? Which ones would lean more towards my logic and reasoning than yours? I wonder. I'd love to put it to the test. And so you say, of course, yeah, nothing wrong, nothing wrong. Just ignore it. But I do suspect a certain fork in the road at some point. Now look, I think about it like this. I think about what trajectory am I going on here? And I have chosen the, the more belligerent um, tactic because I've had both people. I, I, I've been doing this for so fucking long, I've worked out that the belligerent tactics are more interesting for me. And as this is my fucking channel, and I don't give a fuck about my viewers, to be quite frank, um, then I do what the fuck I want, don't I? But having said that, if any of you ever considered that you're passing through my hometown and you'd like to come and have a walk in the fucking park, I'll be open arms for all of you and you'd all be treated with the greatest respect and I'm sure we'll have a great fucking time that's on a one-to-one -one, but when I'm just dealing with text on a computer you can't obviously get inside my head you can't mean anything to me um, I won't allow anything to be disturbed or manipulated or, 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 or bent in any shape or form uh, via text on a fucking computer do you not respect that do you think I should be thinking of you as a real person? You're not. You'll be a real person to me when you're standing in front of me, shaking my hand. And I'll go, oh, that's what sort of a cunt you are. All right, let's go and talk about cunts. Yeah. Um, naturally, from an ego persuasion, uh, I'm just yourself viewing yourself. Uh, can you be sure the incessant video recordings aren't a symbolic gesture of trying to reprogram yourself? What unaddressed trauma is there still lurking? Do you think you can ever be free from it? It's the human condition that they will never ever be free from their trauma. So that's a valid point. Uh, nobody is ever free from their trauma. Uh, as long as we have a memory, you see. As long as we have a memory of the trauma, we will never be free. Now, I've fared up very, very well uh, with my trauma. Uh, and I've had a lot of it. And this muscle guy in the gym that I introduced to psilocybin and I took him, you know, to have a puff on DMT, uh, he said to me, how can we not afraid? When he's afraid of everything. And I'm like, well, how could I, how could I tell him the real thing that I consider to be truth, that I'm cosmic consciousness, I'm the cosmos, that's why I'm not afraid, you think I'm a fucking lunatic, wouldn't he? But, um, you know, the, the, the traumatic things that I've had, um, death of my mother, I go, fucking bravo, thank you, thank you mum, because from that point forward, you made me the mountain that I am. And some people might say, oh, but you can't see that you really do want love, Aaron. No, I don't. No, I don't. I realise that love is one of the biggest fucking lies in this dimension. It's a crock of shit. The cosmos doesn't give a fuck about love. The cosmos is yin and yang. The cosmos is polarity. The cosmos has everything. It has equal evil as it does so-called love. They're just fictions of, of, of conscious imagination. In actual fact, there's fuck all in there outside of these facets which are dreaming up this fantasy of love and, you know, hate and all these different sorts of things. They're just ideas. You see, consciousness has ideas and it can think about the most fantastic, incredible things and Many humans will go, oh, that's just a silly idea. Everything's just a silly idea. Only most of these silly ideas the human beings bought into. You see? Okay, let's get through this. My voice is getting tired. Basically, it's like it's you, yeah? And other people are them. If you think everything is wondrous and that, uh, like I do, by the way, uh, then isn't that enough? Uh, why soil such epicness uh, with the idea of the mundanity uh, of the average common folk? 
Yeah, okay, so some of you who are of a higher consciousness, uh, you don't like uh, that I soil this channel uh, with the mundanity uh, and the idiocracy of the common folk. Um, but you see, if there was enough for me to get my teeth into, if you intellectuals uh, kept me busy, kept me inspired, then I wouldn't need to do that. But because you don't, because there's only fucking a couple of you, um, you know, I, I don't know, in all, in all, I don't know, is the, is the ten of you that, you know, regularly impart some wisdom and have been around for some time, so you know a bit of what I'm going on about. Uh, but, but, you know, uh, that evidently isn't enough. I, I need more. And you see, because uh, when we have this level of attrition, it gives rise to so much more debate. And I'm very psychoanalytical. And I, one of the, the main reasons um, that my ego likes to think it does this channel is because it likes to um, joust with, with uh, other people's egos. It likes to uh, psychoanalyze. It, it likes to see uh, the, the psychology of the human being. And it likes to be able to gauge. And it likes to be able to pigeonhole and then I will look at myself in comparison to others and some people I consider are up here. How are they up here? Are they older souls than me? Have they had a better education than me? Does their mind work more pure than me? Oh but they let themselves down in here and there so maybe they're just up here on one level but they're not up there on other levels down there. And I speak about Jordan Peterson. Jordan Peterson uh, with his intellectualism um, in his articulation he is up there as far as I'm concerned but with his spiritualism and his uh, deep inner spiritual knowledge, uh, he's down there in comparison to me because he's brought so much into the matrix, hasn't he? You see? And so it's just different levels. It's sources for courses and things like that. And so if I had a conversation with Peterson, then I would have to bring him down from his pedestal of his self-imposed uh, and, and publicly um, 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 issued hierarchy uh, of his brilliant brain. I would bring him down to the spiritual facet of what it is to be human being whereby we'll be on, a, on, on, on an equal footing and uh, I would be posing things to him which he would have to think about a great deal and Dallas has thought about lots of these things but he doesn't speak about them out there because he doesn't fucking pay enough you see because he's got, he's got to buy into the matrix of that we're all human beings and we're all suffering how to alleviate suffering it's all a fucking fiction it's all a fantasy it's all a fucking dream it will all be over in a fucking wink of an eye and they will go on to be God consciousness for the rest of the fucking eternity do they disappoint you in some way or something? Oh, the human beings always disappointed me. Of course. Uh, what, what, what isn't disappointing about the vast majority of the human race? And if you don't think the human race is disappointing, then I think you've been exceedingly naive, you've been very scared, uh, you, you, you really are creating your own reality, oh, it's all love and it's all peace and uh, you know, I, I don't want to be mean to anyone because I couldn't bear anyone being mean to me because I'm such a fragile creature. You know, if you, if you are solid in here, it doesn't matter what anybody says or does to you. You know, I had a person come to shoot me in my fucking bed and I don't hold an ounce of animosity uh, to that individual per se. But the amount of things that human beings have done uh, to me, or I've been subject to and I've seen in this world, I've come to realise that the human being is a despicable creature. Um, very, very low in, in the evolution. And uh, so, you know, they're, they're, they've got thousands more years of evolution uh, before they're, they're going to be able to create a, a decent world if we ever live that to be that long, or if the simulation continues to be that uh, long. Um, uh, did they disappoint me? Yeah, yeah, disappoint me. Everyone disappoints me. You know, the, the lack of intellect, the biases, the projections, the stupidity. You know, if you just want to have a conversation with somebody and then when they start spilling out shit that they've heard from somebody else and then speaking as if it's their knowledge and their wisdom and I ask them, where did you get this from? Have you travelled? Have you learned? What scenario uh, was it that um, uh, gave you this information? When did the cosmos give you this information? Through your 
your own experience and, and uh, uh, acquisition of wisdom. You see, that's what I'm dealing with because the cosmos gives me wisdom because I go out and travel all around the world and have experiences and then the cosmos downloads me. Uh, also, I've read a great deal and I go, oh, that's what reiterates what I already know, you see. I'm not reading stuff and then taking it as if it's gospel and I'm not going to be coming to you and telling me, oh, uh, Schopenhauer said this and fucking, you know, Pomini, you said this. Well, sometimes I do quote a little thing like that, but uh, my knowledge comes from me, not from them. And if they've said it also, it's kind of like, well, they're obviously fucking geniuses, the same as me, weren't they? But I don't want to listen to other people's bullshit projections. I want to listen to their knowledge from their heart, from their core, from their soul, from their spirit. I don't want to listen to them from their ego. Ah, it's too difficult and short-sighted to make generalizations and comparisons. Anyhow, I think. Hence why this circle around and retrodding of the same old ground seems if everything is pointless. It is pointless, and that's exactly why. We, look, we don't do anything except trudge around. You know, the Ouroboros people, people have been telling us for fucking millennia. It's the Ouroboros, we're eating our own fucking tails. There's nothing to achieve, there's nothing to do. We're just having a human experience. We're just being dreamt in the mind of fucking God. There's nothing to achieve. There's no real ascension. You know, when anybody speaks about being a guru, being enlightened, as any meaningful fucking thing, it's just Todge. It's just a part of the fiction. Everything's a fucking fiction. There, there's no enlightenment as such because we're already enlightened. We're already the cosmos. But then when we're little avatars, little homunculus, then we go, oh, I'm enlightened because you're in touch a little bit with the vastness of cosmos. But, you know, everybody is, you know, enlightened in such that it's all in the mind and the brain of God. Uh, but some people are playing idiots and some people are playing fucking geniuses. <sighs> Anyway, a bit more pointless than that, you know. But then, I do also consider there are many hours in the day you don't work, and this probably serves as a habitual way to occupy yourself, so you don't go fully off the edge. Uh, I've been off the edge, people. I've been off the edge, and I've come back, and I'm now playing the game. You see, I've looked into the abyss, I've been down there, I've looked into solipsism, I've, I've considered this very, very valid. I've looked into nihilism, I've considered this very, very valid, but there's no point in dwelling there, because it's nihilism, and there's nothing there. So you've got to come back into the fiction of being an ego and a human being, and embrace it, and play with it, and fuck around with it, that's what I do. But, you know, as an enlightened being, what else can you do? When you become enlightened, what do you do? You chop wood and carry fucking water. What did you do before enlightenment? You chop wood and carry fucking water. Maybe it could be useful to think of the abyss as the in-between stage of Plato's cave until you create your citadel of righteousness. You'll forever be wandering and lost, or at least you will be as far as people are concerned. Now, look, as far as people are concerned, um, you know, who gives a fine fuck about what people are concerned? Why would you? It's only their projection of their opinions, and their opinions, uh, for the vast majority, don't come on uh, on solid ground. They, 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 they don't derive from um, the cosmos, per se. They derive out of the, the fucking television, uh, to be quite frank, people. And so I hope that, um, you know, I have um, expressed myself well enough, and of course I have, because I always do, because that's the nature of what it is to be uh, what I am. Um, and you can see I can always put a logical and rational, uh, reasonable explanation against anything anybody ever says. Um, and I'm not refuting anything anybody ever says, like you are not valid, because that's your opinion. And everyone's got one, and they seem to be valid, and some people people think they are valid but um, you know uh, it's like if, if you go and see a psychoanalyst and ask the psychoanalyst if they've ever cured anyone they'll tell you no not even fucking come close there's no such thing as curing anyone you know but all psychoanalysts can do is help people realize the fiction of their own fucking uh, created reality and then, you know, when you're angry about something, it's your own fucking creation, it's your own fiction. And then when you're disappointed in this and the other, it's yourself, it's all yourself. So look, we all are human beings, uh, we've all had experiences, and we've all been written upon, our motherboards have been written upon, and that's what we are. And so what you see from me 
is uh, 61 years of experience this time around on this journey, Sojourn, but also billions of re reincarnations, which is too deep for you to perceive on the humanistic, psychoanalytical level, you see, because there's spirit here. Spirit is this thing, and the ego and the human is only a tiny facet of it. So you'll never work out what's going on via looking at the brain and the ego and any other humanisms. You have to look at the massive picture, and we just don't have the wherewithal in the human uh, consciousness to be able to do that. But cosmic consciousness does it. And sometimes we can tap into cosmic consciousness, and then we know that that knows and we know fundamentally when we have very, very deep meditative experiences or we have um, entheogenic experiences or supernatural experiences, these sort of things, then we will touch that. We will, we, will, we, will, we will see for a fleeting second of that which we really are. And then you come back to this and you go, this is a fucking joke. This is a cosmic giggle, people. Cosmic giggle. So there you go, anyway. Uh, appreciate you for your comments. And um, we'll just um, keep on keeping on, yeah? Um, you know, get just finally, just getting back to this fork. I, I, you know, it's not my disposition to go all love and light. It just isn't. And when I was younger, when I first started making these videos, and it was all new to me, and um, I didn't know what to expect from you, the viewer, but over 15 years, I've become exceedingly tired, and I've seen that you are exceedingly dull. And there's very, very few of you which remotely shine uh, out there in the vast darkness. And, um, you know, so that's what was disappointing to any, um, you know, uh, higher conscious being. It just is. And whenever you've listened to people like, I, I've listened to them all. Our show, just tired of the idiots. Krishnamurti, just tired of the idiots. And, you know, people like Sadhguru and, and Muji still keeping up the pretense because they're earning from it. Um, you see, um, uh, our show didn't need to earn because millions of people gave him billions. And so he didn't need, nothing he said needed to fucking bring in the coin. And Krishnamurti, he was never in it for the money. He, he was just his fucking, um, his curse from the coin. Cosmos. But people like Sadhguru and Muji, they're in it for the money. And everything they say, they just listen to the fucking retard and go, isn't it? And that's it. So you can't see the difference. So if it's good enough for Krishnamurti to look at the fucking idiot sitting before him and go, uh, are you bored? Uh, do you want to watch a video? Okay. And then it just continue. Like I'm doing. Tired. Continue. Tired. What else can we be, people, unless you live in a fucking bubble or of the fantasy, of the fiction, that we're all light beings and we're all love and light and it's all great and we've got to help everybody. The cosmos isn't like that. The cosmos doesn't say that we have to do that. The cosmos says, fuck off, because there's equal amount of every fucking thing. You choose where you want to be. I've chose where I want to be.